There was a so-called miracle house in Stark County said to be home to acts of God and the former dwelling of a future saint. She was said to be a miracle worker, a healer, and soon the Vatican could be canonizing this woman from Canton. Andrew Horansky has the remarkable story of Rhoda Wise, a story that takes faith. What makes a miracle? Is it a face and a rose petal? Snowflakes shaped like church bells? Or is it a deaf woman who can suddenly hear a girl freed from her crutches? You know, there's just too many stories. Stemming from a so-called miracle house in Canton. And so people have attributed fertility to this place. Yes. People have attributed uh, pain going away mm -hmm. after being here. And even more, more healings. All because of Rhoda Wise, who lived here in the first half of the last century and knew pain. The wife of an alcoholic, she had developed a 39 pound tumor in her stomach in her 50s and in 1939 had it removed, only to suffer from even more problems. Eventually left a hole in her abdomen that wouldn't heal. And so she was sent home here basically to die. To die. But she didn't. But she didn't, no. Instead, as the story goes, she awoke one night to a light. And when she turned to see what it was, Jesus was sitting in a chair by her bed. And she wasn't surprised. She just said, have you come for me? And he said, no, um, I'll be back in 31 days. He returned. And her abdomen was completely cured. Along with a bad foot in a brace, her husband was soon transformed too. That's what you to be what Rhoda said was the greatest miracle our Lord worked for her. It was the conversion of her husband. Right, and that he stopped drinking. The stigmata came next, wounds corresponding with the crucifixion. She bled from her hands, her feet, and her forehead, her forehead profusely. People must have been trying to disprove at the time. Oh yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people didn't believe it. There was even someone who came in the house and tried to stick pencils in the wounds in her hands, trying to prove that this was set up. And then, there was another guest, one Rhoda would mentor, a young woman named Rita Rizzo, who came with pain so bad it kept her from eating for years, a nun who would also be healed. Her life was changed through Rhoda. It was a complete turning point in her life. She said that after that happened, all I wanted to do was give my life to Jesus Christ. And she did. As Mother Angelica, the founder of EWTN, the global Catholic news agency that reaches hundreds of millions of people. Today, both Mother Angelica and Rhoda Wise are being investigated by the Vatican for sainthood and well on their way. There are very few American born saints, let alone two from the same place. I'm so excited that there could be two canonized saints from Canton, Ohio. I think when that happens, People will come from all over the world. With some believers coming already, convinced miracles are real, that saints still walk among us, and that there are some things we may never fully understand. Andrew Horansky, 3 News. Powerful story there, for sure. I, I, yeah, I definitely agree. You know, I d just got a little goosebumps, you mm -hmm. know, watching that story. Yeah, anytime you talk about miracles, I think that that happens.